Machine. Hey, what's up with it, y'all? Welcome to my podcast, Cold Narratives. I'm your host, Iceberg Green. I'm about to let y'all hear some of these cold narratives. Check it out. Hey, what's up with it, y'all? Iceberg Green. So I'm about to go in on Mayor Sheen Tao of Oakland, the IRS, the feds. Um, uh, they hit her house, even the post office. What has this lady done, y'all? So this footage is from NBC Barrier News and also got some from ABC Channel 7 News. This is fair use. And uh, we're going to break this footage down, uh, and I'll be back. Check this out. Mayor Tao has not returned to her home since the search here early Thursday morning. She also has not returned to work at City Hall. And there are questions tonight about when she'll return to City Hall and what all this means for the city of Oakland. A day after the search of her home, a former federal prosecutor, now private attorney, is speaking on Mayor Sheng Tao's behalf. She's the mayor of Oakland. She's an elected official. She's hiding from nothing. Her lawyer says Mayor Tao was blindsided by what happened Thursday morning. The mayor never received any sort of inquiry or any sort of information regarding the existence of this investigation. And of course they're not going to send you and say, oh, we about to hit your house. I don't know no feds that do that. Hey, y'all, we about to hit, we about to raid your house. Be ready. Come on, I don't care who you are, Shane Tao. You think, oh, you're the mayor. They supposed to call you and say, hey, you know you're the mayor, so we about to investigate you? No, you're not exempt. You got to deal with fundamental fairness and due process. Yes, that's what we're about to go through. But uh, she's also being recalled. But I'm going to break this footage down, man. Very clear from what occurred is that this was a very coordinated investigation by several federal agencies. Former Santa Clara DA Steve Clark says court records like search warrant affidavits will likely be sealed in this case and it's anybody's guess if or when any charges would be filed. It really depends on what they're looking for, how long this process will take and what information do they already have. The FBI conducted simultaneous searches at the headquarters of California Waste Solutions and the homes of its CEO, David Duong, and his son, Andy Duong. Lady, what, what have you done? Post office in the feds? I thought the objective was to put criminals in jail. You, you, right, you won yourself. These are felonies. These ain't misdemeanors. These are felonies. I don't think no judge is going to issue no warrant or anything of that nature, unless you had something to do with something. I understand, ain't nobody, everybody be trying to act like they shit don't stink. I'm telling you, and this crew she messing with, I have to say it, they're organized crime type shit going on in Oakland. See, they talk about us because, unfortunately, we're not organized. And no crime, it should be justified, but we're just not organized. These corporations, these people, they're some of the biggest criminals, um, but they go uh, undetected, uh, stay under the radar because it's organized and they like right here, they invest in politics um, and they pretty much, that's how they clean their money because they know people got their back. When you spend money like that, that's why these politicians always be in bed with these donors and you don't know what's going on behind the scenes. Like she, I, I feel like she sold us out, seeing what the opportunity and sold us out for her community. And like I said, I'm not knocking nobody. She's Vietnamese and she looked out for her community. Hey, that's what happened. So we need somebody in Oakland black that's gonna look out for our community. It's just how it works, man. We didn't gave it a crack from Jerry Brown to everybody, man. We didn't gave it a shot of a lot of different people. Elihu Harris back in the day. I'm just saying, we've given a shot to a lot of people. And um, this lady, this is the first time I ever seen him just hit hit a house or two or three or four. So either way it go, um, I believe um, they're going to find something that they're looking for. Like I said, they don't just hit your house for nothing. In the last 24 hours, 40,000 voters turned in signatures to have the mayor recalled. This morning she wakes up and the FBI is knocking her door down. I don't see how she overcomes this. It's likely that she will wind up having to resign. I'm so happy because she hasn't came out the house. She ain't went to work. I, I, I mean, do you, you, it sounds like she quit. If you have a job and you don't show up, you don't call in sick, you don't do nothing, you sound like you quit. So if you quitting, Shane Tao, come on out and say I resign. Because stop playing with the city, man. You don't take this long and then send an attorney. Who is this guy? But uh, anyway, come on, Shintao. Do do that much for the city. You know, you've done a, enough um, harm. Why don't you do some positive and resign? I believe you should resign. I, you know, everybody may not agree with that, but I believe she should resign. And for all those that thought, oh, I was just uh, hating on Shintao and all this other stuff, where y'all at now? Everybody got in my inbox talking about, oh, no, you don't know what you're talking about. Shintao is good for Oakland. Yeah, take that to the bank. Okay, and this is uh from ABC Channel 7 News, and this is fair use. This is fair use. 
Check this out. Later, Mayor Tao's partner and father of her two children, Andre Jones, emerged with a bag and refused to comment before he left. Law enforcement sources tell me this is a public corruption case with the FBI, IRS, and U.S. Postal Service working together. Oh, oh, he got up out of there like he was on TMZ. Look at, oh, yeah, I'm telling you, see, that brother, man, I hope they don't make him the fall guy, see? Yeah, that brother, yeah, yeah. And we the criminals. Excuse me, I, I mean, they, they just tell black people we the criminals. We the worst criminals on the planet. Well, at least we go do our time. At least we go do our time. They say we the craziest whatever else. At least we go do our time. These people get away with all types of murder, crime, and all that. They don't go do a day in, in the county jail. They might do a program. Another former prosecutor who now works as a private attorney and a legal analyst says a judge had to see some evidence of possible crimes or they wouldn't have signed off on search warrants at multiple locations. Okay, so they hit four of her locations. And as you can see, she's living comfortably. This is where all that money's going, as we all can see. So this is what I'm talking about. When I did these videos about this mayor, um, I just felt like there was something uh, going on with her from the beginning. Based on how she won the election, um in Oakland. See what I'm talking about? How they do cities where um, it's impoverished and things are just corrupt and chaotic. They jump on in and take advantage of the uh, power and that they have. But uh, check this out and I'll be back. A District 12 congressional candidate and president of the Vietnamese Chamber of Commerce says the Duongs have contributed greatly to the city and the Vietnamese community. The Duong family have been really supportive of causes that are building opportunities to create a more robust and prosperous economy for all of us to thrive in. The Duongs also contributed to candidates on both sides of the political aisle, including to Mayor Tao's campaign. And last year, David Duong's Vietnamese Business Association hosted a trip to Vietnam, which Tao and Port of Oakland members participated in. I don't know. I don't know this family, man, y'all. See how they coming back for each other? They are seriously talking about there's nothing going on here. These people have donated to other people. Look at the politicians they showing here. Look at this. And these people get, getting the money from these corrupt individuals, alleged corrupt individuals, but they were already under investigation for some alleged crimes, um, white collar crimes that they committed. And like I said, right now, I just don't, um, I don't understand how all this stuff gets swept under the radar in these cities with these elected officials. They can get away with a lot of stuff and people talking about they need to change. How can it change when we got people like this in office? How can it change when our own community thinks someone's there to help them and this is what we get? Hey, she had a lot of supporters on the internet. I'm talking about they were smiling. They was doing a, a, a kumbaya. And as soon as this happened, I don't see nobody posting no more. And like I said, man, where the support is at now? And like, these are alleged crimes, so nothing has came out yet. But in the eyes of public opinion, hey, y'all see what's going on. I, I'm sure you've never seen a mayor house get hit like this in your city without there being some probable cause. So we'll see, man. We'll check this out in the end, and I'll let y'all know how I feel. We're going to see. But this is Oakland. It becomes more than pol political. It becomes actually running the city. I cannot remember the last time a mayor, sitting mayor, had their house Ready. by the FBI. The federal government doesn't force or obtain warrants into one's residence without a probable cause. And when it rises, in my experience, to the level of the federal government, you're talking about some um, significant um, issues. So all you Shane Tao followers, uh, follow this. Follow this story and invite her to your house. Yeah. It was, I'm sure a lot of y'all in the town got some of that money. Y'all better go check your bank accounts and, and hope they don't audit your ass. I'm telling you, I told everybody, man, she wasn't it. I told, I, man, people was on my helmet, man. Like she had was going to change Oakland. She did change Oakland. Look at it. Look what she changed. This our mayor we talking about, y'all. This is a, this not even just a city council. Imagine how many of them sweating right now. They sweating bullets right now. But uh, y'all have a good one, man. I'm Iceberg Green. I'm out. I want to thank you all for tuning in. I also want to say God bless those going through the struggle. And make sure you watch out for them cold narratives that the government trying to push on us, y'all. And to all my black people, I will be nothing without y'all. God bless you all.